Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a part two of the wedding makeup series, the South Indian bridal makeup look. Um, this is the look that I wore on my wedding and I did my own wedding makeup which means you can do your own makeup as well. So the part two consists of the eye makeup, the lip makeup, the eyebrow makeup, and all those beautiful stuff. Uh, please pause the video right now, go watch the part one, which has the base makeup, which is the foundation um, of the whole makeup look. Um, so before further ado, let's get started and wait until the uh, end of the video to see beautiful mind-blowing pictures. So I have just zoomed you guys in for my eyebrow part. So for eyebrows, I am going to be using my Benefit um, eyebrow pencil. So I am using precisely my bra from Benefit and I am in the shade 4.5. So I'm just going to gently brush through my eyebrows like that. Just a quick little brush. Strokes on the sparse areas of my eyebrows. So what this does is this is going to create illusion of having natural natural brows rather than looking like somebody just painted your face. So you can do whatever shape you want. I like thick brows so I'm just going to... Go ahead and do a thick brow. Just like that. So once your brow is done, just brush through it. So what you do is you ju just follow the um, normal shape and size of your brow and just enhance it the way you want. So as you can see, this brow is more defined and this is not. Here, so this is called um, Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brows. So this is like a tinted brow gel. Um, so it, it gives us a nice tint to your brows, and as well as it gives, it kind of taints your, it kind of taints your brow um, hair down as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm not gonna apply too much of it because I already did my brows. I'm just gonna, oops, something went into my eye. just like that once I've done shaping my brows once I do like the entire shape of my brows I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer in a flat a brush like this and I'm just gonna clean the edges just like that so it's gonna give me a very nice clean edge to my eyebrows so if you did any mistakes while you're doing your brows so it's gonna take care of it at this point So as you can see, this uh, side of my eyebrows look very clean and crisp than uh, this part of my eyebrow. Okay, so the first look, uh, so for the eye look, I went ahead with a base shade first. So this was the base shade that I took. This is from the Tarte Pro To Go palette and this base shade right there. So I took a big fluffy brush like this um, and just applied that shade all over my lid. Just like that. Okay, and um, next I went ahead with this dark brown shade right there. And the shade is called Crisp from the same palette. So I took more like a precise brush for that. Um, and then I applied that to the um, outer V of my eye. So I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see what, exactly what I'm doing. 
just gonna apply to the outer corner of my eye just like that and I'm creating a shadow there and I'm kind of blending it upward creating a shadow Do the exact same thing on this eye as well. Just creating a shadow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that maroon shade right there, right here, and it is called Styling. I'm gonna take that in a, a, the same brush and I'm gonna darken up that outer area even more. Just like that. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Densely packed brush like this. And I'm going to take that um, shade crisp right there. And I'm going to take that in this brush and I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line. To really smoke out that lash line. So I'm going to do the same thing with this eye. You don't have to do anything crazy here. It's just you're pushing the shadow. And I'm going to take the maroon shade called a styling right there. And I'm just going to I like it when the lower lash line is very smoky, smoked out because it really defines your eyes so much. So we can apply it even more if we um, decide we have to do it even more. So for the eyelids, I'm gonna um, go ahead with, oh sorry, go ahead with the Fenty Beauty palette. So I'm gonna take, um, I actually took a two different shades. So first I took uh, uh, this shade right here this a little um i don't know it's like a peach little shade so i took that on a flat brush i took that on a flash uh, flat like a concealer brush and i sprayed it with a little bit of all-nighter like one spritz of all-nighter all because it's gonna give you a very a very nice defined um, or more pigment um, if you do that and I dipped it in this shade right here I'm gonna dip that in and I'm just gonna apply that to the whole eyelid Just like that. So you're going to do the exact same thing on the other eye as well. Just like that. Just gonna come closer to the camera just because you can just see it. Very nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna take um, this shade of right here. So this is called Meter Crush. Um, it's a very nice, I don't know what to explain. It has lots of pink in it, gold in it, and yeah. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm just gonna pat that that over the top of the peach shade that we applied. Just like that. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna take this golden shade right there, and it is called Mass on Fire. 
So I'm going to take a little bit of that on the same brush. You can use a different brush if you want, but just going to lighten that inner corner. So what it gives is it gives like a look, it looks very bright eyed. It looks like you had lots of sleep and the inner cor corner is just going. Apply it right there. Now, what I did was my jacket of my sari had a little bit of green in it. So what I did was I mixed in a little bit of green shade right here. And it is called a light ear. So what I did was, um, sorry, not the light ear, the other one. Um, Planet X. So this dark green shade right there. So it matched to the, um, to the jacket of my sari. So I took a little bit of that onto my finger like that and just apply it to the outer corner here. Just to the outer corner right there. Maroon shade right there. Not maroon but a pink mauve shade right there. And it's called styling. It's gonna deepen up that inner corner. To just to smoke out the eye even more. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is called Hype. And I'm taking a little tiny brush and I'm gonna apply that under the brow area. Apply a little bit of eyeliner to my eye. So it's and nothing fancy. I'm just going to use the Sephora eyeliner here. So I'm going to do like a regular winged eyeliner. So I did not do too much of wing to my eye, just to just to lift that eye a little bit up. Okay, so for my lower water, water line, I went ahead with um, a more like a brownie shade, right? Brownie shade. I do not have that eye pencil on me right now because I don't know. I was in India and I left it somewhere over there, but I have a similar um, color with me. So this is the eye pencil from Urban Decay and it is in the color Whiskey. And this is called Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil it's a very nice shade so um, I'm just gonna apply that to the lower borderline So I like to apply more like a brown shade to the lower waterline and to the upper waterline I like to go with a more darker shade just because it gives a good um, a little bit of contrast and also it kind of accentuates the smoky look um, that you're already having and also it gives a very looks like your eyes are very sharp and it looks perfect on photography as well. So I'm just going to do the lower waterline. I don't know if it like a mauvey pink color from there. Just gonna press that to the lower line there. So when you look at the eye, it is very expressive and it's not overdone or anything. So this is what the look I went for for my wedding day. It, everyone just loved it and I liked it as well because it was so put together, it was so simple, it was so elegant. So it was like everything together but not overdone. So yeah, so that's the eye look right there for you. Now for the highlighter, so what? why do we use a highlighter? It's just because if you have seen in brides, their cheekbone looks very, very, what do you say, glowy? very glowy and very shiny so they put highlighter on there so for my for me I chose this highlighter from Masterco 
sorry, from Maybelline New York and it's called Master Chrome um, Metallic Highlighter. So this set on my face really, really nice. I just put the single eyeliner highlighter on my face and it, it was really good. I really loved it. So I took a little bit on a fan brush. I know the, my brush looks awful. So I'm just gonna tap that to the, to the high points of my, of my cheek. Swirling it like that. And this uh, highlighter is perfect for for brown girls just because it has lots of um, golden golden color to it and it sits very good on olive skin and Indian skin tone uh, people. Just gonna put that to the bridge of my nose as well. And also to my cupid's bow just to highlight my lip. So for my lip, I went ahead with a MAC lipstick. So I took um, a lip pencil in the shade Horror. Just lining my lips there. So once I lined my lips the way I want, I'm just gonna fill that lip with that lip pencil color. With this MAC lipstick right here, and it is called Marrakesh 646, number 646, and it's called Marrakesh, right there. Take a little bit of that and just apply it all over my lips. I really love the color of this lipstick and it complemented the eye just because this lipstick has a little bit of pink in it, a little bit of orange in it and it has a little bit of uh, red in it as well and, and a mix of brown as well. So it has a lots of color in this lipstick and it looks perfect for, with my sari and with my eye makeup and with my little um, not too overpowering smoky eye. So for, to finish off the look I'm going to take um, a a blush as well. So for the blush I used the MAC blush in the shade Malibu. I apply it to my cheek. And here look to last all day long um, with all the flash photography and with all the risk through the all through all the reception and everything use a setting spray that is long lasting so I'm gonna use this a setting spray one more time I know I use this setting spray through the video lots of times so that helped a lot to hold my makeup um, because the ceremony started around 9 in the morning and I we had reception until past midnight I would say uh, for my Hindu ceremony and yeah my makeup just um, just held well together through all of that so uh, this is the uh, this is the um, the beauty little secret <laughs> if you don't if you don't take anything home from my video um, the one I would like you to take home is using a very nice setting spray and all nighter is, is, is the best um, setting spray that I have so I'm gonna take a little bit of that Just gonna spritz it all over my face. Oh, finally, one more thing. I forgot to put mascara on. So I had some false lashes on that day, but um, today I'm just gonna skip it just because, honestly guys, I do not put false lashes on a daily basis, so I do not have them here. So I was not thinking of making this video today, but I made it, so you guys can go ahead and put some false lashes on. Um, on your wedding, it's gonna look beautiful. But for today, I'm just gonna top it off with some mascara have something on our eyelashes honestly you guys that's it that's it for this video I hope this was a very um, informative video and you got to take some tips and tricks from me um, please comment in the section comment section below if you did like this video and I would also like to know how much how many of you guys did your own makeup um, on your wedding day 
Um, I know it was a little bit stressful for me, but I really enjoyed uh, doing that and I also really loved and enjoyed filming, filming this video for you guys. It was so much fun. So thank you so much for tuning in and until we see you again in one of my next videos, bye! Oh, 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 oh,